We've all felt ABS activation on ice and snow, but that's not supposed to be happening on dry pavement. Let's check it out. Luckily, in our case, we have a code for the left front wheel speed sensor. So we're going to look there first. Our code is for the left front wheel speed sensor. So we want to check the data on the left front wheel speed sensor. We're also going to compare it to the right front. You can, if you're having a problem with the rears, you could also check the rears. In our situation, we just want to focus on the front. We don't really care about the rears. We'll confirm that. If we have only two on the screen, it's going to be a little easier to keep track of what's going on. So we can also, so we can watch the data right here while we're driving, but we can also graph it. And these two graphs should stay pretty close to the same. If you see any spikes or dips, that's where we're going to find an issue. But if you didn't have a code, if you didn't have an ABS light or even a scan tool, there's a couple things you can do to check. So what you want to do is grab the top of the tire and the bottom of the tire and give it a shake. If there's any play in there, it could be a wheel bearing and the ABS wheel speed sensors sometimes are part of the wheel bearing. That could be your issue. So if you have any play there, you're going to need a wheel bearing. And if you need a wheel bearing, you can get that at 1AAuto.com. Another thing we can look at is the wires going to the wheel speed sensor. So let's check those out. All right, right here you can see this is the ABS wiring harness that goes to the wheel speed sensor. And if you see any chafing in the wiring or any part where there's bare wires or anything like that, that's going to have to be replaced. You really can't repair this. There's a lot of movement in these wires and if any of the movement causes the repair to break, it's just not going to be a good idea. So you really got to replace the wires. Plus with low voltage, repairing the wire is very hard. You want the resistance to be exactly where it needs to be. Take a look at the connector. If you saw any corrosion in there, then that could be an indication of something going on. You want to take care of that. Uh, we don't see any corrosion here. One thing we can do is test the sensor with a meter. The thing is, normally this is only going to tell us if the sensor is completely open or as in one of the wires is cut. So if we just put the meter on, we can check that. And the best thing to do would be to take and disconnect another one of the sensors and compare the readings. And as long as they're pretty close, then you know that's a good indication that the wiring, at least to the sensor, is fine. Which I tested the other side and it's exactly the same as this one. Up top here, you can see where the sensor goes into the knuckle on this vehicle. Every vehicle is a little bit different. The sensor is separate from the hub on this one. So it goes through the knuckle and then on the back side of the hub, right in this, where this gap is, that's where the sensor is. And it's sensing the back side of the hub. So when the wheel spins, there's a little reluctor wheel on the back of here or a tone ring. And that's how you get the speed. And it's not very easy to see. I'll show you when it comes out a little bit better. But there is a gap in this tone ring right there. There's a break. And visually, we can see that. So we know that that's what's causing our ABS issue on this vehicle. Sometimes you can see a tone ring and see if that's broken. And if it is, that's going to be an issue. It needs to be repaired. And then other times, it's going to be inside the hub itself, and you can't see it. So luckily for us, we can see it. We're going to have to replace that hub. This is the wheel speed sensor for this vehicle. This is going to ride up right against the tone ring or reluctor wheel on the back side of the hub. And that's what's going to send the signal to the computer to activate the ABS or to activate traction control if it doesn't see the signal properly. <laughs> There we go. And there it is. 
bearings. Now you can really see what's going on here with the wheel bearing out. On the back side, this magnet should go all the way around and that's where the sensor is gonna sit right there, but a lot of it is missing. Now, there was only a little chunk missing when we started taking it out and from hammering it, a lot of the, the rest of it just broke off. But you can see that's not the way it's supposed to look. It should look like this. It goes all the way around. So we're gonna replace this and it's gonna fix our problem. Line this up. Torquing the wheel bearing hub nut or spindle nut is one of the most important parts about installing the hub assembly. If you don't torque that properly, you could cause damage to it down the road. So make sure you torque that to manufacturer specifications. All right, no more ABS activation and no warning lights on the dash. So that fixed our problem. If you're having a similar problem and you need a hub bearing or wheel speed sensor, make sure you get those at warningauto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.